Okay, it's summer here in the Northeast, and that's a, that's a good thing because low-carb summers, in our opinion, are better than low-carb winters. But is there a way to fix that all year round? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another low-carb keto carnivore chat. And today's sort of like a semi-follow-up to a, a video I did a few months ago about low carb and exercise and that you didn't really have to do exercise if you're low carb. And I noticed that there was some sort of weight gain um, this, this past winter in particular. Let me have a sip of drink here. Oh man, refreshing. Watered down red wine today and I'm not doing seltzer. I noticed that I maintained a very steady weight, like within a pound every day, day in and day out during the summer. And then, you know, along with some, some minor hiccups, but during the winter, this past winter, we didn't really have any snow. I didn't do any labor and there's no need to do outdoor landscaping. I do uh, probably around in the summer, since the spring ba began about a month ago, month and a half ago, about 20 hours a week of back-breaking stuff my clothes are soaked to my underpants it's and my socks i'm soaked i work out that's a lot of physical labor a lot of calorie burning and and just energy expenditure um and then but this past winter i didn't really do anything so that made me think you know like i, I normally do do a lot of work if we have a snowy winter i'm shoveling i'm not just pushing a snow plow around or a, or a uh, snow blower I'm out there because uh, I have spots I have to, to shovel and there's ice to break. So that made me think that even if there is no winter, you know, tasks to do, you should, the thing to, to maintain, to prevent the winter hibernation gain in the Northeast or any Northern or four season climate is to figure out a way to increase your physical activity. I'm not sure what that would be for, you know, everybody has a different way of, I like, I, I like performing physical activity out of necessity. I, it, when I have a purpose and the purpose isn't for me necessarily, it's the purpose is to take care of whatever I have to take care of. I would never, I never go to the gym. I'm, I used to in the past, but going to the gym is, is vanity. It's not, I mean, with the exception of someone who who may be a, a sport and they have to, they have to get physically uh, superior to their opponent. But most people go uh, work out at the gym for personal vanity and that's not, that's not my choice. I just want to be healthy. So what I have to do now in, in the winter, if we have another light winter coming up in a few months, is to figure out a way to, in the cold weather, figure out a way to increase the activity to the level of what it is in the summer when I'm breaking my butt for, for 20 hours a week in the, in the outside. So whether that's doing some heavy kind of work at the house and you know, lifting, I, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I, I told uh, my viewers last uh, video that probably going to the gym can't hurt as long as it's um, you know, not purely for, for vain reasons. Maybe, maybe I should uh, join the gym in the winter for four months just to uh, keep, keep in shape for, for the summer. I don't know, I mean, but I, I'm go, instead I'm going to um, figure out a way to, to have, increase my physical activity during the cold months with home-based activities. Even if it's outdoors, I'll get warmer clothes and just figure out a way to, to burn that uh, fuel um, in the cold months. So that, that's my whole low-carb uh, seasonal shift with uh, I don't know I'm rambling here but if you like the video and liked our concepts uh, hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you next video I, I I'm promising to try to make it better have a good day